the activation energy of moving through a membrane. Although not always presented as such, the movement of molecules across a membrane is a reaction, a spatial rather than a chemical reaction. We can represent such a reaction th through a graph. Along the x-axis, we indicate the course of the reaction, that is, where the molecule is. The y-axis represents the relative energy levels of the reaction coordinates. A higher concentration corresponds to higher potential energy. If A is a hydrophilic molecule, there will be a large energetic barrier associated with its passing through the membrane. As with all reactions, this reaction is the sum of all the steps it takes to go from the reactants to the products, in this case from one side of the membrane to the other. Consider the steps involved in moving the hydrophilic molecule A across the membrane. We'll assume that the concentration of A outside the membrane is greater than the concentration of A inside. In the absence of a membrane, there is no barrier to diffusion. Because of the concentration differences, there will be a net movement of molecules from outside to inside. The reaction would continue until the concentration outside is equal to the concentration inside. This is the equilibrium state. Once the concentrations are equal, net movement ceases, although molecules are still moving in both directions. What happens if we insert a membrane into the system? A hydrophobic center of the membrane poses a barrier to the movement of hydrophilic molecules. To pass through the membrane, a molecule has to have more than the activation energy. Few molecules have this much energy, so the reaction is very slow. Adding a channel inserts a low-energy, hydrophilic pathway through the membrane. The activation is reduced. Now many more molecules have sufficient energy to pass through the barrier. The reaction speeds up. So here's a question. How is a spatial reaction different from a chemical reaction? and how can it be considered to be similar?